Hey guys, this is Evan Dukas, Integrated Garden. I'm hanging out with my chickens here in my chicken run and just want to share something with you that might be pretty helpful. If you either have a rooster or are able to get a hold of fertilized eggs, um, you can actually raise your chickens uh, through a very easy method, and that is through your hen, uh, letting a broody hen hatch out her eggs. You see, it turns out that hens are actually incredible at raising chicks. <laughs> so we had our hens go broody, or at least one or two of them for the first time this year. And we decided to just take them up on it and let them sit on their eggs. We marked the eggs, which ones were, had been under her for a few days. And any other new eggs that the hens laid, we, we pulled out um, and let her hatch them out. Uh, at one point, we actually separated our hen in a cage here within a cage. Okay, here's the rabbit hutch we're using within the chicken run <laughs> to quarantine her. There's, there's our broody hen. She hatched out her eggs. In the process, she made it just perfect under her wings. We just provided her some straw or hay, and that's all she needed. She is a living incubator, a perfect incubator. As the chicks hatched, they were the most healthy looking chicks I'd ever seen. A lot of times, if you raise chicks yourself, you know what I'm talking about. They get pasty butt. Uh, and for the first few days, at least, you have to like really carefully clean them off. The reason why they get that is actually stress. Not with mama. As long as mama hen is around, the chicks are completely happy, totally healthy. They look incredible. Another thing is they stay perfectly warm. They don't need a heating lamp or anything like that. So. You know, whenever they get a little bit cool, they just run under mom and they're just, they're just perfect. The best part about it is it's so easy. You really don't have to do anything except just make sure that mama has, has some food at all times and water. And once they hatch, maybe give them a little chick feed. But if you free range, partial free range, you probably don't even, you know, you, you barely have to do that because the hen is always scratching around looking for food for the chicks. Uh, we don't free range, but we have a pretty nice size run. Uh, we did intervene with, uh, you know, a very good amount of food. And then we slowly introduced uh, the mom and her chicks back to, uh, into the flock. And it actually did really well, uh, to my surprise. The other chickens really didn't bother the chicks much. Sometimes maybe just like a little, a little peck just to let them know the pecking order, just like any other time. But besides that, uh, it's just been a really, really, really great situation. Of course, I do recommend being pretty discerning on when and how to integrate the mom and the chicks back into your flock. Of course, every flock is different, so I just closely monitor the situation at first. Just make sure that there are no extremely aggressive hens that are going to put your chicks in danger. So, a little advice. Um, obviously, if you have a rooster, your eggs are fertilized and ready. If you don't have a rooster, if you can get um, a hold of some fertile eggs somehow, and a broody hen. That means a hen that's kind of, you know, acting up when you go to collect the eggs. She doesn't want to leave the eggs. She makes a weird sound or even pecks you when you go to uh, check on them or, or grab them. That's how you know that a hen wants to be a mom. So let her sit on the fertile eggs or slip the fertile eggs under her. Uh, take away the non-fertile eggs and then mark the ones that are fertile. And then if it seems like she's not getting that bothered by other hens who want to lay, uh, if they're just going in other nesting boxes, I would actually try letting her uh, hatch them out right there. But if it's a little bit sketchy, uh, go ahead and just quarantine her. Um, the best way I recommend doing that is pulling her out and putting her into the new situation, maybe in the middle of the night or at least at nighttime when she's really extra docile, doesn't know what's going on, it'll freak her out a little less. Provide food as necessary and water, of course. Let her hatch them out and uh, it's just really incredible to see uh, really what it looks like to let a hen raise her own uh, chicks. I love seeing the connection between the hen and the chicks, all these little things that you know, we're kind of a struggle with raising chicks on my own are no longer a struggle. Uh, she even has these specific noises that she makes for her chicks that you'll never hear a hen make otherwise. It's just really precious. It's a great experience. And again, some of the best parts of this is the fact that chicks really have no problems at all. They're extremely healthy and they have really everything they need from their environment that she helps provide for them. So they're not stressed or scared uh, at night. Like I remember when, when I'd raise chicks in the evening, they would get a little freaked out, but not anymore because they just 
take refuge under the hand. This has been such a neat experience, just seeing the intelligent patterns throughout nature uh, and just how a hand automatically has intuitively in her the ability to raise her chicks perfectly. So let us know if you have any questions. Uh, feel free to ask in the comments below if you have any experiences like this. Let us know as well. But uh, as for me, I think I, I may never... I don't know, I may be tempted to never really raise my own chicks again uh, from either an incubator or mail order. I hope you got a little bit of helpful information from this, and until next time.